Hello friends, I am M.S. Rao and I welcome you all in this presentation made by SR Investment Academy. Earlier we have been covering some topics about the natural gas and the companies in natural gas business for the benefits of the student aspiring career in such companies, their investors and uh, traders in the natural gas. Today's presentation is slightly academic and it may be helpful to the students and the oil and gas professional and may not be that much uh, popular for uh, investors and the traders. Today's topic is where natural gas comes from. So the answer is every petroleum reservoir is a source of natural gas. There are broadly three kinds of reservoir. Oil reservoir, gas reservoir, gas condensate reservoir and dry gas reservoir. The nature of the reservoir can be understood by its initial reservoir temperature and pressure. Here PT diagram helps in explanation of a particular petroleum reservoir and its fluid. The bubble point curve is defined as the line separating the liquid phase region from the two phase region. Similarly, the dew point curve is defined as the line separating the gas phase region from the two phase region. Pericondon thumb can define as the maximum temperature at which liquid and vapor can coexist. At temperatures higher than pericondon thumb, only one phase occur at any pressure. This means both gas and liquid phases exist in the area enclosed by the bubble point and the dew point curves. The curves within the two phase envelope show the percentage of the liquid at any temperature and pressure. Above the bubble point curve, the hydrocarbon mixture will be a single phase, that will be liquid phase. At pressure and temperature point located above or the right of the dew point curve, the hydrocarbon mixture will be a gas phase. The critical point or the multi-component mixture is a state of pressure and temperature at which all intensive properties of the gas and liquid phases are equal. At the critical point, the corresponding pressure and temperature are called the critical pressure and critical temperature of the mixture. Depending on the initial composition of the reservoir fluid, each carbon hydrocarbon accumulation has its own phase diagram. Now, if the initial reservoir fluid composition is found at the point C, the reservoir would be in one phase state that is oil. Here, the temperature is below the critical point temperature. This is called the oil reservoir. The pressure declines during production to the point C1, a free gas phase will appear. When the free gas saturation is sufficiently large, gas flow to the well bore in increasing quantity, resulting in rising in GO. We can define oil reservoir as undersaturated reservoir. If the initial reservoir pressure is greater than the bubble point pressure of the reservoir fluid, the reservoir is undersaturated oil reservoir. What is saturated or reservoir when the initial reservoir pressure is equal to the boil point pressure of the reservoir fluid? The reservoir is called saturated or reservoir. Gas cap reservoir, if the initial reservoir pressure is below the boil point pressure of the reservoir fluid, the reservoir is termed as a gas cap reservoir in which the gas phase is underlain by the oil phase. There are heavy oil, black oil, light oil and volatile oil reservoirs in the nature depending 
upon EPI grip tube of the oil. Here below the critical temperature, gas remain dissolved in oil below critical temperature while above it the reservoir changes to gas phase with liquid particles suspended in it. Now consider a reservoir containing the fluid at the point B. Here the fluid is also initially in the one phase gas steam because the reservoir temperature exceeds the critical temperature. As pressure decline due to the production, the composition of the produce fluid will be the same as the reservoir A and will remain constant until the dew point pressure is reached at the point B1. Below this pressure, the liquid condenses out of the reservoir fluid. Such reservoir is commonly known as gas condensate reservoir. Here, due to the decline in pressure, liquid particles get separated from the gas phase and settle down in the reservoir pores, which remains immobile as the saturation remains below the critical temperature uh, saturation. This is called retrograde because some of the gas phase condenses into the liquid under isothermal conditions instead of expanding or vaporizing when the pressure is decreased. This results in lower liquid content production at surface and rise in the producing gas oil ratio. Some gas condenser reservoir has UR in the range of the 1500 to 2000 initially depending upon the fluid composition which keeps increasing fast as, as the reservoir pressure declines. Gas condensate reservoir produce condensate which is sim similar to the volatile oil and therefore EPI gravity and liquid production rates as well as fluid compositions are closer to the volatile oil reservoir. Sometimes such reservoirs are misunderstood to be a volatile oil reservoir and uh, inaccurate just estimation are made which needs revision in later when some production history is available. Retrograde condensation continues up to the point B2. Inside dew point curve, the composition of the produced and the composition of the remaining reservoir fluid keeps changing and retrograde liquid loss within pores of the reservoir drop continues further. For the practical purpose, vaporization of the retrograde liquid due to the decline in pressure from B2 to B3 is insignificant. Some reservoir containing the fluid initially at the point A. Suppose we take this point A. Since this point lies outside the two-phase region and to the right of the critical point, the fluid is originally in the one-phase gas stream. Since the reservoir temperature does not change during the production, it will remain in the gaseous state as the pressure declines along the path EE1. It may be remembered that the composition of the produced well fluid will not change in the reservoir during depletion. This is true for any reservoir where the reservoir temperature exceeds the pericondensum. There are gas reservoirs called wet. These are rich gas and dry gas. For wet gas reservoirs, no liquid is formed inside the reservoir. However, at separator condition, some liquid is formed and this surface liquid is normally called condensate and the reservoir gas is sometimes called condensate gas which sometimes lead to a lot of confusion between the wet gas and the retrograde condensate. However, producing gas condensate ratio is very high in such cases. Finally, natural gas that occurs in the absence of the condensate or liquid hydrocarbon is called dry gas. 
It is primarily methane with some intermediates. The hydrocarbon mixture is solely gas and there is no condensate form either in the reservoir and at the surface. This way we can understand the pressure and temperature condition in which formation of the different reservoir right from heavy oil, light oil, volatile oil, gas condensate, wet gas, dry gas reservoirs takes place. This is all about this presentation. Thank you very much.